je suis, yo soy watashi wa, ego sum, I am Chris. This is Chris in English, and today we are celebrating uh, Switzerland's birthday. Happy birthday, Switzerland. I am so happy that you have made it to one more year. And today's show is going to celebrate you, your country, your people, your traditions, and your flag. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, we have cupcakes. We have Swiss Swiss decorated cupcakes today to help celebrate Helvation Confederation Day. We celebrate the day that Switzerland was created. Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. I'm excited today because I love Switzerland. I love my Swiss students. And, and, and I love cupcakes. So, we've got a great day planned. How are you guys doing? Who do we got here? I see I got my Lini. Lini is in the house. I'm always glad to see you. Nilani, good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hawken is here as well, visiting us from Turkey. Good to see you, sir. I hope everybody is having a great day. Of course, today is Friday. That means we'll be going into our weekend. I have nothing planned because everything is locked down because of stupid coronavirus. But I might go visit a friend. We'll see. Maybe we'll take a drive. Maybe we'll go see the lake or a river, something to get outside. I'm tired of being in my house. What are we going to do today? I'm going to give you a word of the day, just like we always do, because you're good people. You deserve to have a word of the day. I'll give you the San Diego coronavirus update, let you know how we're doing here in San Diego, in California, in the United States. We're going to do a lot of celebrating uh, of Switzerland today. I'm going to tell you a lot of the things that I like about Switzerland. And that will take us to our question of the day. What is your favorite thing about Switzerland? What's the best thing about all of Switzerland? Let me know. What do you think? Because I care about you and your opinions. What do you think, Lini, my Lini friend? Do you like Switzerland? Is Switzerland a good country for you? The question of the day is, what is the best thing about Switzerland? Think about that for a minute. We'll be talking about that all day long. How are you guys doing? Does anybody have anything they would like to share this morning? I'm excited to hear from you. Cheese, says Nilani. It is true. The cheese in Switzerland is good. That Emmentaler is so delicious. And of course, the delicious, delicious fondue. Do you know the negative form of fondue? Fondant. <laughs> I agree with you, my Nalini. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nilani, I'm sorry, my Nilani. Uh, yes, the cheese in Switzerland is so delicious. In fact, I want some right now. I don't have cheese. All I have are, are cupcakes that I made poorly. But I'm still going to eat them right here on the show for you guys. So, so you stick around. You will see me with a face full of cupcake, probably red frosting all over the place. It'll be great. Trust me. Let's see, what are we going to do next? Uh, let's do the coronavirus update. I hope that you, your family, your friends are all healthy and safe. Hey, hi, how are you doing? I'm so glad to see you today. Today, we are celebrating Switzerland. It's Switzerland's birthday. So today, we're going to celebrate them. Uh, San Diego, we have 558 deaths in San Diego from coronavirus. That is not nearly as bad as some other places in the United States. California is up to 9,000 deaths, but the United States as a whole has 154,000. Our hearts go out to all of the family members, all of the friends who have lost people that they have loved to this virus. Let's just all hope we get through it together by doing the things we know we have to do. Right, Nemo? We wear our masks. We keep our distance. We don't go into crowds. Here's for you, Nemo. Everybody sing the song, Heidi. 
Now they're singing in German. Hi. Heidi, of course, is a character from a book. Um, she's a fictional character, but in the fictional world, she comes from Switzerland. She lives in the Swiss mountains with Peter and Grandpa and the goats. People in the United States, we love Heidi. Back in, I want to say it was the 1930s, we had a very famous child actress. Her name was Shirley Temple. Uh, she played Heidi in the American versions of the movies. Uh, you might have seen them. You probably didn't watch them. They are in black and white because they are pretty old. I know many of my students don't like movies like that. Hello, Miss Jasmine. I'm glad to see you today. Happy birthday to Switzerland. We're celebrating Switzerland today. I'm going to be sharing all of the fun things I know about Switzerland. That'll take two minutes. So I'm relying on you, my friends, you, to answer the question of the day. What do you think is the best thing about Switzerland? Nilani says the cheese. Not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. Let's do our word of the day. And then we'll get to our Switzerland celebration. We have a great word of the day. If you want to see the word of the day, you can visit our website, chrisinenglish.com. Right there at the very top of the page, you can see the word of the day every day. Thank you to the Free Dictionary for providing us with the free word of the day. Our word of the day today is a verb. It is circumnavigate. Circumnavigate. Let's start with the spelling. It's a pretty long word. C-I-R-C-U-M-N-A-V-I-G-A-T-E. Circumnavigate. One, two, three, four, five. Five syllables. Circumnavigate. What does it mean? Well, it's a verb. Basically, literally, it means to travel in a circle. Circ, circle, navigate, travel. Circumnavigate, to travel in a circle. But when we use the term circ circumnavigate, what we usually mean is to travel around the world, to completely travel around the globe. Circumnavigate. Here's a sentence for you, coming straight from your history book. Ferdinand Magellan was the first human that we know of to circumnavigate the Earth. It's true. He started in Portugal. There were many great Portuguese explorers back in that day. He traveled west, made it all the way. No, I'm sorry. He traveled east, made it all the way around the world. Ended up dying in the Philippines, I think. Luke Swiss is here! And so is Mr. Marty. Good to see you both. Luke Swiss from Switzerland. Happy birthday, Switzerland. Happy birthday. Today we're celebrating all things Swiss, even cupcakes. Nemo is answering our question of the day. What is the best thing about Switzerland? Nemo says, the best thing is that it's a peaceful country. Haven't had a war in 200 years. That is so true. That is so true. In fact, Switzerland is known for its peacefulness and its neutrality. I'm going to tell you a story today about some very brave warrior type Swiss people. Some of my, one of my favorite stories actually is this story. Vasco da Gama. Yes, he was from Portugal. And yes, he was a great Portuguese explorer. I believe he was the first person to go around the Horn of Africa. But it was Francis, uh, Ferdinand Magellan who circumnavigated the globe for the first time. Let's see. Yeah, uh, circumnavigate. Here's another way we can use circumnavigate. Usually we use it to talk about physically traveling in a circle. But check out this one. Because of coronavirus... We have to circumnavigate new social rules. So circumnavigate doesn't have to be physically travel. It can be a kind of metaphorical travel as well. Circumnavigate, that's our word of the day. Marty's telling us that the flag is a big plus. <laughs> now, Marty, you are the first. You are the first, but you will not be the last. Yeah, Switzerland is a very positive country, I guess. 
Nothing negative about them. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day they'll multiply. I don't, I don't want to cause any divisions. Oh, ooh, math jokes. Ooh. <laughs> Circumnavigate to travel in a circle, to travel around the world, to travel in new figurative situations. What is your sentence? Using our word of the day, Austria. Oh, poor Austria. We have to be nice to Austria. It's not their birthday. Plus, they, um, Austria gave us great things. They gave us uh, music. Huh? They gave us those really good little Mozart balls. I love those. What about you? Do you have a sentence using our word of the day? Circumnavigate to travel around the globe, to travel in new situ situations. If you do, write it. Write it right here in our chat. Or you can send me an email, chris at chrisinenglish.com. Or when this video is posted, just post it right there in the comment section. I want to hear from you. William Tell Overture! That's right, you guys got it. I, I want to say that's by a guy named Rossini. Please correct me if you know that I'm wrong. I think it was Rossini who wrote that music. The William Tell Overture is from a piece of music about William Tell. The Overture is the beginning piece of music for that performance. That piece of music was also used uh, for a very famous American hero. His name is the Lone Ranger. He was a cowboy hero. He wore a mask to hide his identity. He shot silver bullets. And he had a Native American friend named Tonto who helped him get out of tough situations. But that song wasn't called the Lone Ranger Overture. It was called the William Tell Overture after a very famous character from Switzerland. From what I've been able to tell, William Chell Tell is kind of real. I always thought he was purely fictional, but apparently he's a little bit real, kind of like Robin Hood for uh, British uh, history, a little bit real. But the story is this. Here's the story. The story that I heard was Swiss people hate children. And because they hate children so much, William Tell took an apple and he put it on his son's head. And then he took his crossbow, which is like a bow and arrow, but like a gun. And he took the bolt and he put it in the crossbow and he aimed at his son's head and he fired. Swiss people hate children. They shoot apples off of their heads. I don't understand, Switzerland. I don't understand. <laughs> Of course, William Tell is actually a story about a Swiss hero who was standing up against tyrannical authority. Swiss people aren't weak just because they're peaceful. Yeah. Swiss people are for democracy and for freedom and are willing to shoot apples off of their children's heads to prove the point. <laughs> no, Nemo, that's, that's not the, the version you heard. That's not how they're telling it in Switzerland? I don't know. I, I'm probably wrong. I'm not from Switzerland. I, I might have gotten the story a little bit, a little bit incorrect. I don't know. <laughs> but do you know the William Tell story? Is there another version I should be telling? I love that story. That's actually a story that we are told in American elementary school. Not the part about hating children. No. But the part about the brave man who stood up against authority, that's the part that we tell in our elementary schools here in the United States. So you should be happy, Switzerland. We tell your stories here. I'm happy for it. What else do I know about Switzerland? <coughs> 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 tickle in my throat. I wonder, I wonder what could help. <coughs> I wonder what could help me. I know. Ricola. <laughs> One of my favorite things from Switzerland is Ricola. And not just because of the medicine, not just because of the little candy, 
Back in the 1980s, the late 80s, the Ricola company started advertising in the United States. So you'd be watching a TV show here in the United States and all of a sudden you'd hear some Alphorns. And then you'd hear, hear that lovely yodeling voice. Ricola! <laughs> it's true. We loved the Ricola commercial here in the United States. We walked around. I was in high school at the time, back in the mid-late 80s. And so we would walk around high school. We would be pretending that we had Alphorns and we would sing the Ricola song to each other. Thank you, Switzerland, for a wonderful medicine that soothes my throat and brought me great happiness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, someone's complaining about the Swiss cheese. Someone's saying that the Emmentaler is not quite as good. Uh-oh. Uh, Marty, don't feel bad just because we know the Netherlands doesn't have a national day, but we'll give you a national day. You can share United States. No? <laughs> Greatest of all time, he says. He likes that goat cheese. Who doesn't like the goat cheese? Um, the Swiss Guard is one of my favorite things in the world. The Swiss Guard. The red, the yellow, and the blue. They wear those colors in their uniforms. And that's, a, that's an odd color combination. And I'll be honest, that's probably one of the biggest reasons I love the Swiss Guard is because of that color combination. But why do we have the Swiss Guard? Where do they come from? Well, the Swiss Guard is the official bodyguard unit of the Pope. And I say official, it's not quite as official as it was in the past. Now, the, the Pope actually has a real bodyguard unit. But the Swiss Guard is still the official bodyguard unit of the Pope. And if you wanna know why, it's a great story. Uh, back in the 1200s, there was a pope who needed to escape from the Vatican to a more secure location. And to get to that secure location, he had to go across a bridge. Unfortunately, the bridge had been taken over by some of the imperial forces. So the pope couldn't get there, except for the Swiss Guard, the red, the yellow, and the blue, taking their giant halberds in hand, they walked across the bridge. 149 of them, I'm sorry, 189 of them stood on that bridge against overwhelming imperial forces. All but 49 died, saving the life of the Pope, getting him to safety. And in return for the bravery of those brave Swiss guards, the Pope made them the official bodyguarding unit for every Pope since then. Thank you, the Swiss Guard. Here is to the red, the yellow, and the blue. What do you guys think? Do you like the Swiss Guard? We like the Boren Belgen. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm sorry about it. I'll try that one again. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm not going to get it any better, but I'll try it one more time. The Boren Belgian. Eh. <laughs> and apparently it's better than the Emmentaler, the Swiss cheese. Like, we talked about this a little earlier this week, Nemo. There is, uh, there is only Swiss cheese. The only place in the world that has Swiss cheese is the United States. Everywhere in the world, it's called Emmentaler. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm getting some help here. Burumbulagan. Burumbulagan. Burumbulagan? How about this? Delicious cheese. Is that a good way to say it? Delicious, delicious cheese? <laughs> ah! Yes, uh, Swiss cheese is a product of the United States. We're the only country that calls it Swiss cheese, and we don't even make it the correct way, but we still eat it. It's not as good as the real Emmentaler. I've had real Emmentaler, and it's real good. Uh, 
American Swiss cheese is good in a pinch. If you have nothing else, you should eat the American Swiss cheese. Other than that, I'll be looking for some Brunbilligan. I, I, I've been practicing. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything else? Uh, we talked about William Tell. We talked about the Swiss Guard. We talked about Ricola. Oh, I love salty cheeses. Is it a, is it a hard cheese? Uh, Marty, or is it a, is it hard like uh, Parmesan, or is it soft like Emmentaler? And uh, Nemo's telling me there's better cheese than Emmentaler. Tell me about it. What do you like? You like the Gruyere, the Munster, the Limburger? What's your cheese, Nemo? And tell me about the the Burunbulgligen. Is it a hard salty cheese? It's hard. Good. I love the hard cheeses. Hard salty cheese is my favorite kind of cheese. When I grow up, I want to be Parmigiano Reggiano. That way I could be the king of all cheese. Ah, <laughs> uh, my friends, talk to me. We didn't talk about the Swiss Army Knife. We haven't talked about the Swiss Army Knife. I love the Swiss Army Knife. I used to have a Swiss Army Knife. I used to have a couple Swiss Army Knives. They're ab ab actually very popular here in the United States. Uh, I came up with a theory. Why did Switzerland invent the Swiss Army Knife? Anybody know? I know. It's because of Liechtenstein. Yeah. Switzerland is always afraid that Liechtenstein is going to attack. So they, they have the Swiss Army Knife so that they can s stand on the border. And if Liechtenstein attacks, they just back. Get back, Liechtenstein. We don't want you here. Go away. With the little Swiss R. No? I guess it doesn't work. Where is Swiss Army Knife today? I don't know. I wish he were here celebrating Swiss Day with us. The day of the Helvation Confederation. Technically, Swiss Day is tomorrow. August 1st is always the day it is celebrated, usually celebrated with a parade and costumes and the lederhosen and the dirndls and the, the flower bands and the hair. Uh, I hope, Switzerland, that you find a good and happy and safe way to celebrate tomorrow without crowds, with masks. Yeah, keeping distance. So Swiss, Swiss, uh, Switzerland and Liechtenstein share a military. Good! That's efficient. That's a good way to do it. You don't need two armies for Switzerland and Liechtenstein. <laughs> I think that's great. Lady, how are we doing on time? We got a little bit of time. So I'm going to share one more thing that I love about Switzerland, and that is the CERN Super Collider in Germany. <laughs> Did you know that the largest scientific lab is in yeah. Switzerland? It's true. Did you know that the largest man-made machine is in Switzerland? It's true. In fact, the lab and the machine are the same thing. It's the CERN Super Collider. It's a giant machine buried under Geneva and part of France. It's a big circle that shoots particles at the speed of light in a big circle. The particles circumnavigate the machine. Word of the day. Then the particles crash into each other, creating a shower of other particles that, that scientists can look at and read to find out how our universe has been built. And this machine, the largest machine ever built by humans, the largest laboratory ever created, buried underneath Switzerland. There's a museum there, too. It is my dream. My dream trip to Switzerland is to visit the CERN Super Collider. I'll let you guys know when I'm there. Maybe we can meet up, have a little bit of schnapps. We're just about done with our day. And that means I have to eat this cupcake. I made this cupcake. I made this for you, Switzerland. I here. Do you want? Do you want it? Here's here, Switzerland. You can eat. No, you're not hungry. I know. 
American desserts. So much sugar. I know. I'm I'm actually a little afraid to eat this because of all the the sugar that's in it. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to wait. What is the best thing about Switzerland? I should swi sing the anthem. Nemo, I should sing the Swiss anthem. Um, I don't know the Swiss anthem. I know, I know that the Swiss, the Swiss anthem is sung in, I think, four different languages. German, Italian, French. Is there a Romanche version? Is there a Romanche version of the Swiss national anthem? Hmm. The good news is I've heard this before. The, ah, that's right. I even know the name. It's the Schweizer Psalm. The Schweizer Psalm. It has a great name. Uh, our national anthem in the United States is called the Star Spangled Banner. The Schweizer Song. Schweizer Song. It should be coming. The morning skies grow red and over the Oh, oh, Lord, appear in their light. When the Alps glow bright with splendor, pray to God, pray to to him surrender for you feel and understand for you feel and understand God is in our noble birthday, Switzerland. That was exactly as good as I thought it would be. Happy birthday, Switzerland. I took that for you. And Switzerland, I apologize for your national song. I don't think I sang it quite right. I think I made a couple pretty small, minor mistakes. Thank you, my friends, for helping me celebrate Switzerland today. Uh, we'll be back on Monday with a whole brand new show, a whole brand new week. I won't be here tomorrow or Sunday because it's the weekend. I'll be doing other stuff, but I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys when the weekend is done. Perfect, Marty. You should look up that word. You should look up the word perfect just to make sure. <laughs> Thank you, 
Nemo. Thank you. I've been, you know, I've been practicing. I've been practicing my Swiss German. So, uh, you know, holy hoskily and all of that. Mmm. <laughs> I do not recommend stuffing an entire cupcake into your mouth. It is not. It is not what you should do. All right, my friends, that is the time I have. But please, please show up to the uh, uh, to the post. Type in your answer to the question of the day. What is the best thing about Switzerland? We've heard about cheese. We've heard about Ricola, the Swiss Army knife, the Swiss guard, all sorts of things. What is your favorite thing? What do you think is the best thing ab about Switzerland? Natty in the house. Hey, Natty, happy birthday, Switzerland. Thank you for joining us. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday, and we'll do it all again. Until then, please remember, my name is Chris. I love you it all. I'm trying to get us one last song on our way out here. And here you go. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.